So let's move on to the assembly of the actual kit. So this is what the kit looks like. Uh, it comes pre-populated with components and you need to just uh, populate a couple more in order to have this all uh, hooked up and ready to go. And then you'll need to attach the uh, LED matrix to these two boards over here. So what we're going to do right now is gonna, we're going to pop out these boards from the uh, from the carrier board. So these three boards need to come off of the main board. So an easy way of doing it is to take uh, your clippers, just kind of jam them in here, and just kind of squeeze, and you'll hear a slight crack, and that's the uh, board getting uh, unclipped. So you might want to clean up these little edges with your uh, clippers, make them nice and smooth. Okay, so we're going to take these uh, two driver boards and set them aside and kind of work on the main control board a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and mount the uh, little push button into this spot here. Basically take your push button, kind of pop it in here, and you're ready to solder it into place. And now we're going to go ahead and take our clippers and just kind of trim off these leads to make this button nice and flush. Okay. So that's that. So now that we've went ahead and tinned all these wires, we're going to go ahead and start soldering uh, this matrix to the matrix driver boards. So um, some basics, um, there's two of these uh, driver boards. Each one of these drives half of the display, so this uh, board will drive this half of the display and this board will drive this half of the display. These two are identical, so you could swap them and you know this side will be powered by this side, this side will be powered by this uh, matrix driver board. So it doesn't matter which one you use where as long as um, you know you're using these. Uh, so yeah. So essentially uh, the connections on this side are duplicated as the connections on this side. So whatever you hook up on this side to this control board is exactly the same as this. So this uh, very left one here is going to be connected to the same spot on this board as this one is on this board. So this uh, pinout might be a little bit confusing. It's also kind of annoying. So each control board, each driver board, kind of looks like this. So you have the letters A through H up here. I through P down here, and on the reverse, you have these other uh, labels here. So, this, this uh, left side of the uh, control board uh, is connected to the red uh, LEDs, and the green one is connected to the green LEDs. So, each LED basically has two LEDs inside of it, and uh, it has two wires coming off of it. One wire goes to the red, the other wire goes to the green. And then these uh, wires that connect to these sections, so these wires over here and the wires over here, connect to these uh, pads up here. So, uh, yeah. So there is a pinout. I'm not going to post a picture in the video because uh, you're not going to be able to see anything, but in the description there will be something like diagram one. And that is what you'll need to use to connect this whole uh, matrix to these control boards. So uh, for very uh, easy assembly, or for at least easier assembly, I recommend you have it on a uh, hello on a uh, tablet or something like that. So you could pinch and zoom and see where uh, each uh, 
part goes. I made this little diagram. It's posted on alexplusleds.com under the product description for the red green LED display. I also have it in the video description here. So essentially these are labeled as green 1, red 1, green 2, red 2, and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and again green 1 through green uh, 24. So yeah, so let me go over how to uh, start this whole process. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to connect the matrix to these boards, and then we'll connect these boards to the uh, control board, control and power board. And we'll do that in a separate step. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and connect this uh, whole matrix to this board. In addition, you want to follow the diagram to what I'm going to be saying. So over here, uh, this matrix is uh, facing top, bottom, and then I'm going to call this the left side and this is the right side. So the LEDs are pointing down, not up. So this is the orientation you want to have your matrix in. So uh, let's start. So this left wire here that connects to these LEDs here, that's going to go to pin A, pad A over here. So I'm going to go ahead and solder that into place. And essentially you go A through H for the top. And then you go I through uh, P on the bottom section. And then you go, uh, oh, I'll explain later. So I'm going to go ahead and connect A to A. And then B to B. C, which is the third one, to the third one here, which is also C and etc. I'm going to connect all these directly to these pads here. So in order to make these connections, uh, these boards are kind of pre-tinned. So all you need to do is just put your wire down and then heat the pad up with your solder iron and the connection will be made. Do not overheat these because these pads will come off and you'll have a big mess and you'll have to order another board etc etc extra cost extra hassle extra time so try not to burn these pads off anyway so then the next one from the left is going to be B and then the third one over here is going to be connected to C And I think you get the pattern now, or we're just going to go ahead and go down the line and connect the wires. So now that we've connected the top uh, wires to the very top of this board over here, we're going to move on to soldering the sides here. And don't worry about these wires down here for now, they're going to go over here. But for now, we're going to go ahead and connect these side wires to the pins here. So we have the red and we have the green. So uh, the way we bent the LEDs is that when you assemble the matrix as I have done here, um, the very top uh, wire should correspond to the green LED uh, part. So this wire here at the very top is going to be green. And this is at the very top. So we connect it to pin 1 or green 1. So back here, this is green 1. And I'm going to go ahead and solder it to this pad over here. Okay, so there's the green one soldered. And now the next one down should be red one. And likewise, I'm going to solder it to the very top pad here. And I think you should be able to get the pattern now. So the next one down is going to be green again. And again, we're going to solder it to the next one down, which should be green two. And the next one down is going to be red 2. So we're going to go ahead and follow the pattern green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red until we go all the way down to here. And then we'll solder these wires. So I'm going to go ahead and solder these side wires to this uh, matrix driver board. So now that we've connected uh, this whole jumble of wires 
uh, all the wires that come off the side and off the top here. We're going to go ahead and connect the eight uh, wires that come off uh, from the lower half of the LED display. So again, take the very left one and I'm going to go ahead and solder it to uh, connection I. So that's the very left. So again, the very left uh, section goes to the very left uh, pad. So I'm going to go ahead and solder that here. And then the next one, the second from the left, goes to the second from the left pad here, which is J. And we're going to keep doing that until we solder the very rightmost one to the letter P. So we went ahead and soldered the left side of uh, the matrix. And now we're going to go ahead and solder the right side, which has the exact same pinout. It's just uh, a duplicate on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder the right side now. And again, A is on the very left, and then H is on the very right. And the very top uh, connection is green 1, and then the very bottom connection is red uh, 24. So I'm going to go ahead and solder the right side of the display. So starting from the very left uh, wire, we're going to go ahead and solder it to A. And then the second one goes to B, which is right there. And then the next one goes to C. And we're going to go ahead and solder the rest of them. And now we're going to move on to soldering the LEDs on the uh, sides. So again, the top LED is green. So I'm going to go ahead and solder it to the top pin here. So this is green one. And then the next one down is going to be red. So we're going to solder this uh, wire to uh, the top red pad, which is on the left. And basically we're going to follow the same pattern, green, red, green, red, green, red, all the way to the bottom. So now I've went ahead and soldered all the side wires to the matrix driver and I'm going to go ahead and solder the last eight wires to the control board. Again the leftmost wire goes to pad I and then the second leftmost pad goes to J all the way through P going to the very last wire here.